So what is it about this movement that has captured the attention of networks like Fox? Well, I think what they're essentially trying to do is build their message and put it into Canada, I guess. Uh, it doesn't make a heck of a lot of sense. Uh, by some of its own public records, Fox's staff is about 90% all vaccinated, and the 10% who aren't vaccinated have to be tested every day. So it strikes me as a tremendous amount of hypocrisy for these opinion hosts to be cheering on the truckers who are doing some considerable economic damage to Canada as well as to the US. Uh, and essentially, they're already vaccinated for the most part. So there's a tremendous amount of hypocrisy and it comes down to one thing. They wanna have more eyeballs, which gets them more money. Money and power is what drives a lot of the right wing cable. Well, on that note, uh, it shouldn't surprise us that Tucker Carlson is trying to capitalize on this moment by selling a T-shirt that says, I love truckers, of course, playing off his name, Tucker. What do you think about this? Now we have uh, trying to make money off of it. It's really bizarre. It, I, it's hard to imagine that how far Fox has gone. Uh, since the Trump era and during the Obama presidency, things have just gotten worse and worse and worse. And now we find them literally picking on a, on a neighbor country. Uh, and the police are moving in on the truckers. And for these opinion hosts to be suggesting that, oh, let's start doing it in the United States. What are they thinking? That's the type of stuff that comes to the possibility of inciting violence. And at this point, uh, it's more than just misdemeanor stuff. Uh, they're, they're pushing false information, misinformation, disinformation, and putting people's lives at stake. Not just here in this country, but now we're doing it cross-border. It's insanity.